Alright everyone, so I bought a new game today. I'm assuming the vast majority of people watching this video have already heard of Dreams, but if you haven't, it's basically a game where you create your own games within the game. Put this in the most basic terms imaginable, you remember years ago when you'd want to watch a new film of a cinema, whether it's a new Lord of the Rings, new Harry Potter, new Shrek film, but you couldn't go to cinema for whatever reason. Your dad had come home from pub with some fucking knockoff TV, there'd be people getting up in the middle of the film and walking out to go to the toilet. That's a large portion of this game, for lack of a better description. Without further ado, I'm going to show you what I've been creating over the last couple of hours. So as you can see, obviously it's very much a work in progress. This is just one of the pre-generated characters the game gives you. There's a few nice rocks in the background, there's a little bit of grass scenery. Other than that, there's nothing really that much to see. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's a uh, Mr. Dabby Dangle Dick. I take no shame in admitting that this took me the good end of two hours to make after installing the game. I felt quite how God must have done after cooking up Adam and Eve in the cauldron of life. But yeah, given the name, it doesn't really leave much to imagination. It just dabs with his cock out all day. That's his entire character backstory. That's it. That's all I've got going so far. <laughs> Right, well, that's enough of my progress for uh, one day. Well, not for one day. Forever, probably, after seeing that. I'm going to check out some other worlds. I'm going to see what some people with brains have created. Call of Duty, Black Ops 5. Infinity Ward gave me some early access after seeing some of my Warzone gameplays. So I'm quite hyped about this. It'll be a real turning point in the franchise. Seems the map design is so much infinitely better than Modern Warfare. Mother of God, what on earth? <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> Completed the game. Shrek is not afraid of COVID-19. Brackets Corona. Shrek leaves his house in Italy despite the warnings and gets caught by police. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fuck me, why did we call these dreams? It should have been called nightmares. I could not imagine anything this horrible if I tried. <laughs> Oh no, I can't do this. <laughs> oh shit, it's actually a playable game after as well. Look at the terror in his eyes. Look at his little FBI sign. <laughs> I thought after this, I'd seen everything that I had to see, but there's more. Now I've definitely seen everything I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> that is getting a big fat thumbs up. That is so deserved. Spongebob and the mystery serial killer. Okay, you have sparked my interest once again. Oh my good lord. Now this is the crossover we wanted. Spongebob in Silent Hill. Who the fuck would even think of doing this? Oh Patrick, my good friend. Patrick, who could do this to you? Oh my god! He was brutally murdered! You will never in your life understand the true definition of pain until you've seen Patrick Starr murdered at the side of a road. We've arrived. Now to find out who murdered Patrick Starr. I swear to god, this game is the actual weirdest shit ever. People are so strange. <laughs> I always loved you, SpongeBob. You loved Patrick and hated me. I killed Patrick. Do you love me now? Oh my god, it was Squidward. Who'd have seen that one coming? Thanks for killing Squidward. My soul can now rest. I did absolutely nothing, but I'm happy with this outcome regardless. I'm not gonna lie, I was excited for The Last of Us 2, but now I just feel like nothing's gonna top that. So, another thumbs up. A big fat thumbs up for you, my friend. Oh my god, they've remastered Pokemon Sword already. They really aren't messing about over at Nintendo. Oh yeah, I remember this now because an Onyx falls on Ash at the end of Pokemon Sword and gives him severe brain damage. I must say, Ash, I respect this. I like the thinking here. By not having a roof, you won't let those bird Pokemon give you the slip. Let's go exploring. Made it boys, we're on route one. Let's go make my parents proud of me. Let's catch them damn Pokemon. Pokemon market, come on, let's go get stocked up. Oh my god, they've left it unattended. There's gonna be some prime time looting going on. Look at how many Pokeballs there are on display. Ash Ketchum's fucking cum in his pants. Right, well I've definitely taken a wrong turn somewhere. Everything was happy and jolly before. Now I'm trapped in the spirit realm. I'm gonna leave this one before I get fucking gang raped by haunters. Wario eats 37 burgers and dies. By Daydream Phase 420. Okay, let's have a go. Oh my god! Why is my controller making noises? I'm not giving that a thumbs up. That was not worthy of my time. Another Pokemon one. Save Sylveon. There's Sylveon. Now I'll just have to catch him. Get back here. Oh shit, no, I did not anticipate this at all. Oh my lord, no, he's using that one Pokemon attack that I forgot about, the spin around and shoot pink stuff Pokemon attack. Right, that was it. 
I feel like this is definitely some weird fetish game, if anything. Get back here, Sylveon. Oh, and it's killed itself. There's just a sheer drop over there. There's literally nothing else. The cat is dead. Okay, I failed at this game. Yep, that's it. That's the end. <laughs> This game is so weird. You know what's crazy? The fact that it's 2020 and people will still spend loads of money on games that came out years ago. Take Skyrim for example. People are still buying that game now, whereas I can just play it here for free. Breathtaking 4K visuals. It's actually less glitchy than the original. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you already know that one's getting a thumbs up. Happy Luigi Day Part 2. Okay, I can't say I was there for part one. Please go and happy Luigi, thank you. Now what the hell happened to Luigi? Go find him. Okay, sounds like a promising synopsis. Don't you worry Luigi mate, have no fear. We'll have you out in no time. Ah, there isn't a door here. Okay, maybe not. Oh my god, there's a fucking army of them. All making looks at me like I've just made a move on Princess Peach. Okay, this may actually be one of the most disturbing things I've ever experienced. I'm just gonna go ahead and quit out. I hope you all enjoyed this video on Dreams. There's a big part of me that would love to learn the game mechanics more in depth so I actually know what I'm doing when it comes to creating new things. It's almost definitely not gonna happen though. I tell you what though, if you've never played this game, Game. Designing levels in this is fucking hard. I know I've only played for about two hours, but it's fucking hard regardless. Let me know in the comments section if you want to see any more Dreams videos, and I'll see you in the next one.